Lucky you. Because it's collaboration time again. Yay! One of our favorite kinds of videos, and this is where we team up with some of our RV YouTube content creator friends, mm -hmm. and we all talk about the same subject yeah. on the same day, mm -hmm. and it's interesting to get everybody's take on how they approach these topics. Yes, yeah, it is. So we have a special guest, mm -hmm. Chris and Katrina from Our Everyday Getaway is joining the collaboration this week. Yeah. So we can't wait to see what they are going to bring to yeah. the group also. Oh yeah. Be sure after you get done watching our video, pop over to all these other channels and see what their take is on today's topic, which is... RV products you don't need to RV. There's a couple of different approaches that the collaborators could take today. True. And that is either you don't need this and don't waste your money on it. Mm -hmm. We've tried it in a piece of crap and don't <laughs> buy it. Or it could be stuff that you technically don't need, but it's really it nice to have. Really freaking nice. <laughs> Ours is going to be a mix of the two. So we're going to share with you some things that you really don't want to waste your money on. And then other things that are nice to have. Yeah. You don't technically need it, but it's nice to have. Oh yeah. Okay. So what's the first thing that you don't necessarily need? Well, the first thing you don't need at all. And we're on the service side of the RV because we're going to talk about water. Okay. And the first thing that you don't need is those blue canister filters that you see yeah. on a lot of RVs around yes, RV do. parks. But you don't really need it, and here's why. Okay. So these blue canisters are filled with carbon granules. So it's like ground up carbon, mm -hmm. and they put it inside this canister. But the problem is when the water starts running through there, it doesn't filter through all those granules. What it does is it cuts a channel. Gotcha. Cuts a channel through it. So the water keeps running through the same spot. So it's not really filtering your water at all. It's just cosmetic at that point. It's yeah. not working at all. Now they do make uh, one that's a little bit better. It's a green one. And we did use it at one We time. did because we learned that <laughs> the first one didn't work very well. And I'm a water snob and I like my water to taste good. And it just wasn't tasting good. And it just didn't seem very filtered. Yeah. And so we went to the green one, which this is a, a solid carbon core on the inside. So it's not granules. And yeah. it worked really good. Very good. For the first month or so. Yes. And then the water pressure. Wait. Yeah. trickle. Yeah, we hardly got any <laughs> water pressure because it, it, the water has to go into this solid core and it has to press through it. And it just decreases your water pressure so much when you start, when you start filtering out all those uh, impurities it starts clogging up those pores yeah. in that solid core and his water pressure is just crap anymore. Yeah. so we had to figure out another solution mm -hmm. so the solution that we figured out is and we really i really don't know that you need a water filtration system at all but for me if i want to drink water out of the tap like yeah. i do and yeah. make it easier and not have to filter everything through the berkey or buy a bunch of bottled water and that's bad on the environment yeah plastic bottles right so we went with the r3 from blue tech yes and this is a three canister filtration system. One is to get through all the impurities. Okay. The other one is to make it taste better and a bunch of technical stuff that I really don't know about. All I know is it works really well and it tastes good. That's all you needed to know. And it didn't kill our water pressure. Yeah. Because we are affiliates with Blue Tech, we can even save you a little bit of money. That's true. So down in the description, we will leave a link to save you 10% and the promo code to plug in to save you that money. leave a link in the description below to sumo springs pop over there we can save you 15 percent and all you got to do is put in the promo code wayward wags when you check out well i would ask you what our next item that you don't need is but i think we're sitting in front of it it's kind of obvious so what is it it is a generator obviously yeah i don't think you need a generator it's not necessary especially if you're a glamper and you're going to be hooked up all the time 
There are still moments though when you would need it even if you're hooked up and staying at a campground 100% of the time. And we are glampers for the most yeah. part. And we have experienced multiple times problems that we're so thankful we had the generator for. Yeah, because there has been power outages at campgrounds, whether they're doing schedule maintenance or weather. Yes. Or whatever. When the power goes out and you're not prepared for it, <laughs> yes. you need some kind of a backup. Exactly. We didn't want to pay the extra money for the onboard. For the onboard yeah. There's a lot of weight and it was super, super expensive. So we went with this guy and this is the yeah. Champion Dual Fuel 3400. There's a couple reasons we went with this one. First reason is it can run off propane or gas. Correct. That's good for us because we don't want to carry gas around. Don't want to have to lug it. Now the downfall of that is you get less output with propane. True. It's a 3400 watt inverter generator, but with propane, it's only putting out 3060. One of the reasons that we thought we would not need a generator also is because we weren't going to do any boondocking. That's what we said. We're never we, boondocking. Yeah, we don't, we don't. We're only going to use this for power outages. But now here we are. Boondocking. Getting into it. Actually, we're boondocking <laughs> right, right now. now those videos are coming up soon yeah and it trust me it's going to be entertaining because we don't know what the hell we're doing <laughs> but this generator has helped a yes. lot in a couple of different ways True. it lets us run more stuff mm -hmm. when we're off grid yeah it lets us recharge our batteries and we chose the inverter generator as opposed to like the construction type generator because the inverter generator is more quiet it's a lot more quiet and you don't have neighbors coming up going hey man could you, could you turn that thing off? We're not those people yeah. <laughs> that are causing a disruption. Now we are boondocking right now in a campground because we're doing a practice. So we do get some crazy looks. Yeah. Like, why are you running your generator? You know there's a pedestal right there, right? Park has power right now. <laughs> so yeah, generator, you don't need it, but nice to oh, have. Oh, is it nice to have. And they sell these on Amazon. Yes. And they'll ship it right to you. That's right. As we bought ours on Amazon, they shipped it right to our house, but we bought it before we even took off on, our, on yeah. our adventure. And uh, so we'll leave a link down in the description to this Champion dual fuel inverter generator also. Well, the next thing on the list of things that you don't need, if you tell Leslie she doesn't need it, she might fight you. I, I will fight you. Because she thinks she needs it. I know we need it. <laughs> <laughs> but you technically don't need it. If you, if you live with somebody like you, you need it. <laughs> Let's show you what we're talking about. Yeah. What we're talking about is the Valterra stabilizers. And when Leslie said living with someone like me, I am a heavy walker. So when I walk through the RV, the RV shakes back and forth or front to back, depending on where I'm at and especially going up and down the stairs. So the Valterra stabilizer, what it does is it keeps the RV from rocking and it just sits up on the ground or on blocks, depending on how far you are off the ground. And these legs kick out and they're attached by a ratchet strap. And what it does is it pulls those legs in and pushes this top pole into your frame and it stabilizes your RV. So the one on the back back here keeps it from rocking left to right. And the second one will go on the side of your RV close to your stairs and it prevents the rocking from front to back. And these are sold individually, not as a pair. So you have to order them individually and they sell them on Amazon. We'll leave a link down in the description in case you want to go check them out. Well, that's it. That's our stuff that you don't need. You don't need it. But, but some of it's like nice that. to have. <laughs> Be sure after you get done watching this, pop over to those other channels mm -hmm. and check them out. We will leave a link in the description to all those other channels and a link to the playlist to go and watch all the videos. Yeah. Along with the links of all the stuff that we talked about during the video. Hey, stick around for just a few more seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is also down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.